hello guys welcome it's a wonderful and a very bright day back here again on the farm so guys it's been a very long while since we had an incident in the farm you know it was actually a serious incident that really caused a lot like when i mean a lot like a lot of incidents happened on here in the farm and i lost some huge amount of beds guys i lost 70 plus beds on here in the farm so this was as a result of the mycotoxins in my feed yes that generated to foul typhoid which is popularly known as the salmonella or the salmonellosis prolium so that was what prompted this to happen so guys i'm just actually going to do a very brief one telling you how to prevent all this okay you can see when you look closely you see that i just changed litter my litter was used to be very high up to this level right here but you can see how you can see the bare floor right here you can see the bare floor you can see this so i had to change it to make sure that everything goes down you know when they are dropping like when you see their poop these birds when they drop when they have any sicknesses in their body and they drop this is their poop now for instance this is the size or this is the actual poop that is right for you to see in your flock okay so when your beds are sick and your litter is high or you have a particular type of litter and you are treating these beds if it's a severe disease or something serious after the administration of the drugs and everything you have to take the litters out because those droppings can those droppings they're actually bringing out those bacteria or diseases or infection through their droppings because they can't vomit it out you know they can't vomit it so they're just actually going to pass it out from their dropping so guys this is what happened we have been treating our bed for some while and you know they're passing out this greenish poop and that greenish poop contains some of those diseases some of those bacteria that prompt this amenolosis on their body okay so some of you will want to know how or if they do give salmonellosis vaccine yes yes and yes they do give salmonellosis vaccine at week 8 and week 11 so this week 8 is to target it to hit it earlier on okay why the week 11 again is to target it should in case it comes up again so guys, take note now. It does not mean when you give your bed salmonellosis vaccine or the foul type of vaccine, it does not mean your bed can still go down with it. It all depends on your management or the feed. What brought me down to this level or to the loss of some beds was due to the feed that contains the mycotoxins that I gave my bed that I got from the vendor. So guys, take note. You know when your bed is actually struck with a serious vaccine or sorry a serious outbreak or a diseases so guys there's a difference between disease and infection okay on my next video i'll try to do something like that telling you the difference between disease and bacteria okay so you have to know the difference between viral disease and bacteria okay you have to know this difference so you can actually know what you are doing this business or this project is actually an extensive project you have to know your left and you have to know your right you can see my best are actually recovering so guys for example this is a droppings like this you can see this type of droppings it has whitish okay when you look closely you can see whitish right here when you move down you can see greenish a bit green then towards this end you can see yellow you can see this is as a result there are some things that can prompt you to have this type of droppings okay so i got a lot of droppings like this that is how the beds are actually trying to pass out those bacteria from their body this is not a viral disease it would have been worse than this it's just a bacteria that is from the mycotoxins that begot this salmonellosis so when you have those type of droppings you have to pack it out because those droppings those bacteria still remain in that droppings yes and when it mix or come in contact with this litter it's going to result 
to something worse or something serious okay as we are not in the battery cage okay so these are one of the advantages uh, disadvantages of keeping your beds on deep litter doesn't mean that it won't work out for you it can definitely work out for you if everything is in place and guys note that this wouldn't have happened if i didn't give my beds that feed like i said the feed was brought at night i would have been going very smooth without cheese so it's actually just a lesson because we are actually going to go bigger over time and that is for sure so it's better it happen now and i learn it i know it how to deal with it before we grow bigger over time so when you look closely to this place you can see most of these bears are actually coming back seriously and it's a very good thing but you actually have to give them enough time you can see we're having some floor eggs you're actually going to give them enough time my birds are actually giving me nine crates close to ten crates but when this incident happened guys it went so bad like it went down to two crates which is going back to like square one just as if your bed started laying again you can know how difficult it is most of us can relate with such thing so guys what did i do or how did i make sure i get my bed back to normal it's actually a long talk or actually a long discussion i'm just going to try to cut it short or i might do this for this topic i can actually discuss it like maybe three of the videos and make sure you watch these videos watch it throughout the series because you're actually going to benefit a lot i actually took my time i don't want to just rush and do an upload i said i'm actually going to make sure that this my bed actually come back i actually start seeing a good result before i can come out here again to tell you how i was able to eliminate this like i have to eliminate it very well so guys i pack all these litters out you can see the bare floor you can look closely you can see the bare, uh, bare floor right here so aside that you know when you are hit with a strong disease or infection the next thing that's coming to hit you immediately is procedures which whereby your beds will start dropping brownish and watery droppings or it may result to blood in a severe case so when your beds are dropping blood you know that is coccidiosis for sure so guys when you look at this currently what this bed is trying to tell us that it has been long he laid he stopped laying he just tried to do this submersive bed now which means it's actually going to start resume laying again so this was some of the beds that stopped laying then you can see now it's not active and going down just as if it's going to lay there are most of them doing something like that okay so this bed you can see here is just as a result of vaccination failure it has been like this for a very long time so the bed is actually laying so we are not going to call it out so by right we are supposed to separate these beds but i'm actually just going to leave it here because it has been long for a while so guys so as i was saying when your bed is hit by a particular disease okay the next thing that is coming in is coccidiosis i can assure you that and I've actually run it and tested it very well. Cosidiosis is going to come in immediately because the immunity is weak already. You understand? Those cosidiosis is giving the salmonella or any severe disease is giving other diseases ways to come in. One, because then your beds will not be eating. My beds that were eating for 5 kg went down to below 11 kg. So that was a very severe period. You understand so the immunity were weak they don't have much strength looking towards this place some beds are down like so down i had to give them this um i use strange to give them medication on their mouth for like four days you can know how stressful it should be given we have about you have close to four uh, about 400 plus beds giving them the care on their mouth this tender little care which is called the tlc with syringe and giving them vaccines in their mouth to make sure they are strong again so guys when you are looking it into that way it's so so worst so coccidiosis struck in again so we had to treat some analysis we had to treat coccidiosis and this coccidiosis was already severe because they were dropping blood already so they were dropping blood their gizzard were soft it was just combination of several diseases which 
um, our beds, we give them antibiotics for two weeks, even more. These two weeks, you should know it's 17 days. I'm sorry, 14 days. They took antibiotics. I know antibiotics dry blood, even in humans' body. So our bo uh, our beds, they went down. Much of antibiotics disturbed them so so much. Our production went down. But and again, what saved me was my beds were vaccinated from day one. You know. Getting a vaccinated bed, like I said, is very good. It's going to help you very well. They're actually going to respond to drugs. So, guys, we started giving our bed serious medication. We gave the typhoid cure mixed with the gen dogs. After going down, we went for doxygen, which is one of the, in fact, the most strongest antibiotics aside creme flux. Doxygen and creme flux are actually going the same way. These are hard drugs that when you give to your beds and they, um, they resist it, you know you are in a very serious problem. That's why it's advisable to start with a little antibiotics. So when they turn resistance to that one, you can go to the higher one. But when you start with the higher antibiotics, you can't go back to the lesser one. So it's advisable to go with a low antibiotics. So when they try to resist, you hit with the higher ones. So guys, that's what we did. We start giving Amprolin 300 to eliminate the coccidiosis and so on and so forth so guys we are able to kill off this and for as a result of that coccidiosis still being in their body being their git so we are going to be administering coccidiosis three times in a week till we should be able to eliminate coccidiosis totally so guys also what helped me i'm going to show you what also helped me again because you know these beds were weak and they could not use this automatic drinker so so much